r slash relationships. Comedy caricature says. My, 21, BF, 24, said he'd break up with me if I asked a man for a lighter. I'm appalled to be honest. A little sad, very angry, but mainly just appalled. We've been together for over a year and today he went to a concert. He had a joint, and asked around for a lighter. Apparently no one had one, until one guy was like hold up, my gf might have one. His gf gave my bf a lighter, my bf shared the joint with the couple and their friends and then left. Anyway I didn't really care, until he told me that he'd break up with me, if the situation were reversed. I thought it was a joke, so I repeated myself, me platonic Kelly being offered a lighter by a man, with his gf right next to him, would genuinely be all it takes for you to break up with me? He confirmed this. And now I'm devastated. I obviously pointed out how insane this double standard was, and that I had no idea how little our relationship meant for that to be all it takes to end it. He insisted it was different and that has just super protective over me, but I honestly feel disgusted. He also told me how his girlfriend's feet hurt, so he gave her his shoes, I thought that was kind of bf behavior and of course he admitted that. If the situation were reversed and a guy gave me his shoes then head dumped me. Now this guy is probably the sweetest guy in the world, chivalrous, generous and I have no doubt that he loves me a lot. I just don't know how to proceed knowing there's such a massive double standard. Practically it hardly affects me because I don't have any male friends, but mentally I'm devastated knowing he has these strange standards that he himself has no intention of fulfilling. Is it worth getting an outside opinion? Couples therapy trying to get him to change his standard? I don't want to resort to breaking up because he means a lot to me, but also I cannot realistically be in a relationship this unequal, and I think it will have massive consequences in the future if it doesn't get nipped in the bud now. Egg, what if I stop working remotely and have male coworkers? Too long, didn't read, my BF has extreme standards with how I interact with men. He accepted a lighter from a girl briefly, but said he'd break up with me if I did the same thing. Edit, wow I just went to sleep and then woke up to all this, thank you to everyone who took time to reply, it'll slowly make my way through the comments. Incredible bulk 2 says. Protective and possessive are not interchangeable. I think his chivalry is a shiny veneer on an oppressive understanding of gender norms and heteronormativity. So I don't think he will be able to change his socially ingrained mental models easily or quickly. A therapist could help you come to agreement about what expectations are suitable for you two as a couple. But that's treating the symptoms, not the cause. Potorf Tragedy says. This is why I stopped dating guys who smoke weed. They have more issues than I can deal with. Umbium says. He wouldn't do those things. He is just trying to create some limits for you to have you under control. This kind of mentality and the issues he has with those things are not normal and should be consulted with a therapist. You know this, I know this, most of the people here know this. So why are you writing this down instead of communicating with your bf that you feel and thing and you think it would be better for him to go to a therapist because you will do those things if needed. I mean it seems you already took a decision and you just need reassurance over your decision by a bunch of strangers. But G3 would G says. What a world we live in kids thinking that controlling behavior is chivalry your parents done goofed. East underscore tangerine underscore 4031 says. Well you learned something so don't date someone who's got such standards. If you don't agree with them, he's not going to change his ideals. The Smalrus says. Opus. I'm the girlfriend your BF wishes he had because I have no self worth. I don't leave the house with women's clothing unless he's there. I don't wear Mac Oop unless he's there. I don't send nudes to him because if someone else sees them, it's my fault and I cheated by allowing nudes of me to exist. I basically have no friends. I don't dance. I don't do drugs. And I don't expect any of this from him. 
In fact I don't expect loyalty at all from him to the point that I've encouraged him to pursue other women to teach me that I'm disposable and replaceable. This is all to say I have some severely, frick, ed up ideas about how I should behave and what I should expect in a relationship on this guy is still trash. Absolute trash. I wouldn't touch him with a 10 foot pole. The holding doors and gifts and affection thing is gross, not cute. He's buying you. If he buys you, then he owns you. And people who think they own other people are the sludge at the bottom of a barrel of shit. Fish and Chimps says. This guy's not the sweetest man in the world. I doubt he's ever even the sweetest man in the room. Advanced at 9658 says. I know I commented on this post a lot, but I felt this needs to be added. So half a year ago he was saying this, I can tell he was a bit embarrassed at the request, request for op, to not have male friends, he wasn't acting entitled or anything, and ultimately said it's your choice, I'd just prefer you, not to in a sort of weird tone which sounded reasonable. So back then, it was it's your choice, I'd just prefer you didn't. Now it's, don't do it, or I'll break up with you. Opti is already escalating. Again, don't be stupid. Look at the whole picture. You already know what he thinks. R slash relationships. Isristic says. Did I 27 female, do the right thing cutting of my ex, 36 meters, after finding out he's married? I was in a relationship for 6 months with my ex, when I found out that he's married. I was on my first trip abroad to him hometown, we are from different counties, when I saw a woman's name on his car BT device. I later looked it up, and found out, that he's been married for 6 years. I ghosted him right away. Then one week later I sent him a text message saying, that I know he's married and it's over, then I blocked him again. I'm being haunted by the thought that I handled it wrong. That what I did is not the adult thing, and I should have had one last conversation about it, and then ended this like sane adults. It was too hard to discover, I thought. He was the one, everything about him was extraordinary, including our relationship in bed. I thought at that time, that this conversation would do nobody any good, and it would be too hard to have. So, I just disappeared the very same day I came back from my trip. Now I'm second guessing my decision to end this abruptly. I should have had a conversation with him. I don't know the effect of what I did on him. Was this the right move to make? Should I contact him again, and have this conversation? Knowing that he could have texted me, or tried to call, but he never did. He only did twice, before I sent him the message telling him that I know. TDLR, did I do the right thing ending things like? Far underscore refrigerator 5601 says. You did the gift thing, and don't owe him a conversation. He cheated on his spouse with you. He also didn't just sleep with you once you were in an actual relationship for months. There's no need for further explanation than what you did. Limpad 1949 says. You did the right thing. One thing I would highly, highly suggest is contact the wife and tell her the truth. He ruined his marriage and betrayed the person he made vows to and pulled your heart along with him. I was once a wife cheated on and I wish his affair partners had told me. Telling her gives you two things, revenge and a clean conscience. He deserves to reap what he sowed. Far underscore condition underscore 9359 says. Sounds like you need the conversation for your own closure. You can react however you want, because you don't owe him a thing. There is no right way, but a multitude of adult ways to go about it. With that being said I can only hope you assess karma with minimal collateral damage. Petra Retrograde says. Not only did you do the right thing, you did the same thing, and saved yourself the heartbreak. He probably would have ghosted you, now that has slept with you anyway. Now finish him, find the wife and tell her. Senonational6303 says. 
You did exactly what you needed to in the moment, and you're probably second guessing yourself because you, absorbing some really unfortunate information very quickly, took rapid action without thinking too much about it that probably worries you. If you're someone who is usually thoughtful and careful about the feelings of others, and it may be unsettling in a way to know that your brain and body did what it needed to in order to extricate yourself from that hurtful situation, without consulting the thoughtful part of your consciousness. What he thinks or feels is not your concern. You are safely single again and not giving yourself to someone who, if they are capable of hiding something that big from you, is capable of hiding many other things. Good for you. No strike 4560 says. Well, maybe. Immo it depends on whether or not he was separated and was waiting for the right time to tell you he's married on paper or whether he was still full on married. Personally I'm always an advocate of the honest open conversation, but 6 months in, you'd think it would have been a topic of conversation by now. Learn Audi 101 says. Trash like him doesn't deserve any explanation. If you are curious what he would tell you, what his excuses would be, read posts on forums about infidelity. These cheating poses always have the same excuses, as if every one of them was using some sick manual about how to be human garbage. Amazing underscore reality 2980 says. Someone who's cheating on his wife doesn't deserve a conversation. His wife certainly does though. You should let her know. I was the wife and he cheated with multiple women. I wish someone had told me a lot sooner. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.